Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today I've got five epic tips and tricks for Minecraft. You guys responded really well to yesterday's video, so I thought I'd bring another one. As always, leave a comment down below and let me know which of these you knew, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'm always open to suggestions. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. If you're anything like me, you have terrible luck getting good enchantments. One thing you can do to fix this is to use a different material item in the enchant table at first. For example, gold has the highest chance to getting best enchantments, so using a gold pickaxe in the enchanting table will give you a better chance of getting a better enchantment than swapping to diamond to do the actual enchantment. I see a lot of people that fight the wither boss in caves. This is a good idea in theory, but when the wither boss spawns and explodes, it makes a hole and it makes it hard for you to fight the boss. With that being said, a good way to fight the boss is to fight him on bedrock with a fire resistance potion. Because, I mean, you're going to be using potions anyways, so on bedrock at least you have the same height as before and you should be able to kill him no problem. It makes the fight much easier and you don't have to worry about craters or anything like that. When you're building, especially floors, you love to have connected textures. It makes your builds look better, it makes them look seamless. The problem is a lot of blocks don't have connected textures. With this being said, you can use blocks like quartz stairs to make seamless white textures through your world. Quartz is a very common block to build with, so using the stairs and regular blocks is going to make your build look even better. If you live in an area that has lots of podzol, most of the time you're going to run into a lot of coarse dirt. Now this can be good and it can be bad. One way you can distinguish pathways is to use a hoe on the coarse dirt to make regular dirt, making a little pathway through the forest. Now just remember that if grass touches it, it will connect to it and spread, so just make sure there's no grass around. If you're sick of the same old staircases, one fun way to make a staircase is to use string and place carpet on top. From a distance, it'll look like your staircase is floating, and you can use a multitude of colors because of the carpet. It's a fun way to make your house look better and different in variety from other people's builds. I want to thank you all for watching this video and all the support that you guys give to this channel. I really appreciate it, and it means the world to me. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and as always, we